Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today, a pencil review. We are looking at uh, something new, uh, relatively. Uh, this is um, the Musgrave Pencil Company Greenbelt Pencil. And this is... Uh, Musgrave's sort of um, eco natural green pencil. It seems uh, about every manufacturer has one uh, of some type or another. And although Musgrave did have some pencils that were basically unpainted, uh, sometimes varnished, um, and most recently, things like the Single Barrel or the uh, Tennessee Red, which really kind of celebrated the wood of the pencil. Um, these are simply a um, incense cedar, unvarnished, uh, uh, wooden pencil. And they come in a uh, cardboard box uh, that is just sort of, uh, you know, just the plain brown cardboard, but it's beautifully printed with a foil, kind of bright gold print job. I'm hoping the light will catch the reflection so you can see where sort of this gold really blings out here with, uh, it's a two color, print with uh, a, a green, kind of a forest green color. And it, uh, let's look at the box, Musgrave Pencil Company. And then uh, you get a little kind of a cutout here and a look at the pencils on the inside of which there are a dozen, a green belt, and uh, perhaps this is taken from some scene in their native Tennessee somewhere. I could see where that would be. And it says one dozen sustainably harvested incense cedar pencils. On one side of the box, simply Musgrave Pencil Company with the M logo. And then on the other side, uh, it has the FSC code here. Pretty small, but it's there. Sustainably Harvested Incense Cedar Greenbelt Musgrave Pencil Company. Then there's some more information on the back. And we can see um, manufactured in Pencil City. We know it's Shelbyville, Tennessee, established 1916. Registered trademark, Musgrave Pencil Company Incorporated, Shelbyville, Tennessee, USA, where American pencils are made. And then uh, there's a little bit more of a explanation here about the pencil itself. Raw, simple, sustainable, with a name like Greenbelt, it's no surprise that this pencil is dedicated to responsible forest management. For more than 25 years, the Forest Stewardship Council's FSC stamp of approval has been considered the gold standard in the designation of wood sourced from sustainably harvested and managed forests. You'll find it stamped right on these pencils. But we didn't stop at the wood. We've included a recyclable ferrule and latex-free eraser and skipped the lacquer too. And since, an American, since it's an American-made pencil, the green belt is the pencil of choice for those passionate about the planet. So there we are. There's the FSC code again, musgravepencil.com website and UPC code. So that's the whole thing right there. Um, and I'm going to open it up from this end so that we can sort of see maybe a little bit here of, let me zoom in, 
of what we got inside. Here are our pencils and I'm just sort of looking them over quickly. Um, uh, for core placement and you know at first blush I would say they are all pretty well centered uh, from what I can tell. Looks like here's one with a little chip on it uh, and here's another one uh, so maybe on the cut we've got a couple of jagged edges there but we're going to sharpen one and um, you know I say it all the time here looks aren't everything we're gonna see how they write but let's let's pull one out uh, shall we and take a little bit of a closer look so okay so there's our uh, of course hexagonal shape um, those of you who are Musgravers are going to be very familiar with the feel of this pencil uh, because it does have those corners and um, they're, they're on the sharper side uh, they are pronounced uh, there is only printing on one side of this and I'm going to try to focus in because some some of it is small but as the box promised there is the F uh, uh, SC um, logo and code and then here we say sustainably harvest incense cedar and even from here um, I can get a whiff of that and then you've got green belt and these things on either side of it hard to see um, but they're uh, they're like uh, trees cedar trees Musgrave Pencil Company and then the M the Diamond M logo so uh, this is imprinted in a green foil now you'll know to remember the box said that this is recyclable this feral I don't know if all metal ferrules are recyclable actually so I don't know if that's a thing uh, if this is a um, some kind of new metal material that they're using I don't know why the other ferrules wouldn't be recyclable as well but anyways it is in a bright uh, gold tone uh, which is nice it kind of matches the gold box bling and then we have a green eraser here, a latex free eraser, uh, which ties into the green theme of the printing. Uh, it is a, I'm just, let's see, I'm trying to see if you can see what I see. Um, it is a fairly even pencil. Let's see, here we go. And um, doesn't look like it's this one anyways is bowed in any way um, you've got the ferrule uh, attachment which is crimped on and you know uh, Musgrave with their sharp corners uh, although all hex pencils do this to varying degrees you know the ferrule is round and it, it's not you know I wonder if someone would make a hex shaped ferrule to go on a hex shaped pencil um, and uh, you know because some pencils there's no gap between the uh, the ferrule the inside of the ferrule and the um, the uh, sides of the pencil but here there is uh, a little bit um, but it feels pretty pretty tight pretty secure crimped on there and uh, I'm going to sharpen this and oh, we will try it out see what that core okay, is like. I've got it sharpened up here and um, it sharpened up nicely uh, and evenly and I just used one of my manual sharpeners um, and of course upon sharpening it you get a little little bit more of a uh, <clears throat> a whiff of that <clears throat> excuse me incense cedar um, so uh, one thing about this pencil uh, that I noticed 
um, is the omission of a grade. I don't know if it's a 2HB, I don't know if it's a 1, I don't know if it's somewhere in between. Um, I don't know, you know, with Musgrave, is it, <clears throat> is it a harvest core, is it a test scoring core, is it uh, a bugle core, or, or what, a cirrus? Um, of course, they make many different cores. Don't know what's in here, but I am surprised that they didn't uh, put a grade on this pencil for the cord, but we're gonna we're gonna write with it, and maybe we can figure this out. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's a number two. It certainly has a number two feel, and it feels a bit, to me, like a Harvest number two. Not the Harvest Professional, but the standard Harvest. Uh, it's, it has a very similar feel to that pencil. Um, so I'm going to, I don't know for sure what it is, but, but it, it reminds me of that, and I'll... I'll pull one out and do a side-by-side -side to see. I'm going to write a little bit more with it. Um, it's a nice writing pencil overall. It is um, fairly smooth. It's got a little feedback. You can probably hear it uh, in as as that graphite goes over the page. But just enough so that you know you're doing something. but relatively smooth pencil. Let's, um, let's see. I'll come out a little bit here. Let's see how we do smudge-wise. <clears throat> Pretty low smudge drag, I would say. Really. Um, so not too, not too smudgy. Um, again, they give us an eraser and we'll try it. See how it does. Huh. Wow. Uh, I'll tell you that, um, generally I don't, find the must the pe the erasers on most musgrave pencils I've tried I find that they don't perform all that well I would say this one performs a little better than the average musgrave pencil in my opinion I mean there's some shadowing there but it's not not bad at all and the eraser 
uh, it crumbs up nicely and evenly. Hmm. So, okay, maybe maybe that's a plus. I would say too. Um, let's try some of our our standard block erasers here and see how they lift the graphite off the paper from this green belt ungraded pencil. Okay, Pentel does a nice job. Um, let's try a foam eraser here. See how that does. Real nice job. Real nice. Okay. But a magic rub. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, pink carnation. Okay. Mars. Mm -hmm. It's erasing pretty nicely so far, I would say. Not a rush. Okay. Oh, where's our art gum? Mr. Penn. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, I think that is a pretty clean erasing pencil, uh, even including the attached eraser. Uh, while that probably um, was one of the lesser effective, it still did a really nice job. So on erasability, I'm giving this an A minus um, overall. A very, I think, but but a, a very good erasable core here with the green belt. Um, okay, let's come out a little bit and do a little bit more writing. You know, as I'm writing a little bit more with it, I'm thinking perhaps it might have a little bit more of a cirrus core. Um, you know what? Let me do this. Here's here's some my Musgrave open stock. So let's we got a cirrus here. Um, to number one, I got a bugle. Number two, it's definitely not a rat. Tennis here, Musgrave. Do I have a non professional? Here, here's a harvest, just a standard harvest number two. So let's, <clears throat> let's do a little, let's do a little comparison test here. This is the Musgrave. 
green belt. Okay. This is the Musgrave Bugle. This is the Musgrave Cirrus. And the Musgrave Harvest. Well, I have to <laughs> tell you, these are all fairly similar pencils, uh, the core feel. Um, but I would say that if I had to pair this, I would say that it is closer to a Cirrus core um, than the other two. Uh, but more writing would help me maybe fine tune that feeling. Uh, but uh, it's really close. These are all very similar to me uh, in terms of how they feel on the page when writing. Uh, but let's, um, going back to the green belt a little bit, Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, and um, so a fair amount of writing, by the way, and again, I'm, I'm a heavy hand, uh, and point retention, it, it's going to need to sharpen in another, uh, another couple sentences, I would say, but um, the retention is decent on this. I like it. Uh, I like it. Um, I like it certainly as much as uh, any of these other Musgrave offerings. It, it is a, a nice um, pencil in terms of, you know, its wood tone. Uh, it doesn't sort of have the deep, you know, without the lacquer, you don't get sort of the deep um, beauty uh, and luster that comes out like with a Tennessee red. But it's still a very nice looking pencil. And if you're a fan of a natural pencil, uh, unvarnished and just, you know, plain, then you would like this pencil, particularly if you're looking for something that's made in the United States. It is a cedar pencil on top of that. Uh, so that's a plus. And um, I'm glad that Musgrave came out with uh, such an offering and uh, it's nice to have the option. Decent attached eraser, I think. Uh, so I like it uh, and uh, I'm glad I purchased uh, a pack of these to try and I will use them uh, in my, they'll go in my everyday pencil cup as part of my daily mix. So thank you for spending some time with me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you like what I do here, please subscribe and share and like. I look forward to seeing you again real soon here on Always Analog.